company I work for is Glen Elgin Vineyard Management. I'm the manager, so we take care of vineyards in the area for other growers, wineries, um, really anyone that, that has a vineyard and, and either wants it managed full time or a lot of the work we do is called in on a one time basis, custom work, um, anything from harvesting to pruning and, and everything in between, um, really what needs to be done. So. An average day for me totally depends on the time of year. Uh, in the winter, a little slower, a lot more office work. Um, uh, keep an eye on the guys in the shop so we, we fix everything we broke all year um, with the maintenance side of stuff. Um, and then uh, as soon as February starts we're into bud sampling, figuring out if there's any winter damage, uh, what uh, what things look like for the year. Um, usually ending February 1 we start pruning and, um, and then it starts all over again. Uh, so as soon as we're pruning we've got um, crews in the field so it's, it's back to management of the crews. Um, equipment work starts right away as well so Lots of tractor drivers. Uh, once things really pick up after bud break, then I'm usually, you know, five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, out on the road, uh, getting ready, getting things ready for the guys, checking on the guys. Uh, in the morning and at night, I'm usually moving equipment to the next job site, um, and all day checking on guys, meeting with clients. Um, um, yeah, just uh, <laughs> anything in the vineyard, really. Always outside, ideally outside. The best part about my job has to be seeing the result at the end of the day. Um, so I mean, I'm, I'm lucky enough to live on one of the vineyards uh, that we, uh, my family owns, we take care of, um, and going home every day. Mind you, I can't go home if it doesn't look good because there's always something to be done. But when when things are where they're supposed to be, there's there's nothing better than going home at the end of the day, seeing what's what's been done right, fruit hanging on the vine, uh, things starting to ripen. Um, I mean, the, just I've always thrived on that, seeing the, you know, that, that, um, seeing what you've done, feeling good about it, knowing it's out there. Um, you know, that's part and parcel of, of putting the work in and, and getting things done. And, and it is, um, you know, sometimes you got to put your head down and, and power through it, but it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the best thing about it, it has to be. I mean, you look, you look out in the vineyards and everything's neat and proper and trimmed and, and, uh, that's the way it's supposed to be. Good question. Well, vineyard management directly. Um, I'm sure some shop isn't a bad thing in, in high school. Um, the mechanical side of things, I mean, that's where you, you can really make or break with, with equipment running properly. Um, other than that, at a university level, there's a lot of good uh, local programs for winemaking, viticulture, enology, um, and everything in between. Um, so th there's been some really good local support for uh, students coming up. And I, I, I know there has been talk of a couple high schools starting to offer more of the um, more of a vineyard viticulture side of things which would be cool to see get some experience get out there I mean I think I think there's that mentality where everyone just you have to go to university right and not to say that that isn't isn't the case but um, if you're not sure what you want to do go out try it get some experience take a semester off or a term off or a year off whatever works for you and figure out what you want to do um, I think that's the biggest thing I would offer anyone um, you know that asked me is, is if you're interested in it, go out and try it sign up at a winery for the summer work for a, a vineyard Make sure you like it before you, you commit to it too much. I think the biggest thing has to be just that, that go local mentality. I know there's, uh, there's been a lot of traction even in the last couple of years with really high quality wines in um, kind of high-end hip Toronto restaurants. Um, you've got that young crowd that seems to be you know, appreciating quality and, and buying local. Um, so when the trend relates to wine, usually it's, it's benefiting us if it's anything local, anything, uh, anything high quality. Um, it's, it's cool to see that. I think there's, there's more of an appreciation locally too for, for local wines. Um, you know, what a better way to spend the summer day or weekend than to go and go wine tasting in Niagara. You know, a nice day, um, bike ride, however you want to get around, local wineries. Um, that's pretty cool. If I ever have some time one day, I might go and do it myself.